Well, hello, and welcome to Domain to Profit. I am Drew Wash. Here on Domain to Profit, we look through expiring domain names, those expiring domain names, the past owners letting them expire for whatever reason, and that means they are going to be available to you, to me, and to anyone who knows about expiring domain names. If you're watching on Restream, this is a live broadcast that happens Monday at 3 p.m. Eastern Time. Would love to have you join us, but I get that you can't. So we're going to hop into this. We have a lot to cover today, including there's a domain name that as of this moment, as of the start of the show, is going for $191,000 currently at auction. A few times a year, domain names expire that end up selling for over six figures, over $100,000. We have one of them this week. I will share you with you what that domain name is. But first, here's the outline of what we're doing today. Check in with chat real quick after we roll the intro music, and then we're going to look over at Dropcatch at a couple domain names that are over there and expiring and ending the auctions here soon. And then we're gonna pop over to GoDaddy expired auctions, uh, and I will show you the $191,000 $191, domain name, and then we will continue on with our search through expiring domain names. And then finally, if there's some Q&A at the end or whatever, Ask me whatever it is that you have on your mind, including about uh, even chat G GPT or whatever else. So with all that said, welcome to the Main to Profit. See you after this. From the Main to Profit, to Main to Profit, from a dot com to a business idea. Take your domain name, develop an income from the Main to Profit. We'll show you how to Main to Profit from the Main. Well, welcome back. Hello, all that are joining into the chat. I see you all rolling in. Nice to have you. Let us know when you're here. One of the nice things about the live is you do get everyone else that's in the community, which speaking of community, let me put up here a link up there in that QR code. You can scan that. That will take you to our Discord chat as well. Well, during the show, we're all usually right here, but after the show and throughout the week, you can share domain names you're selling, share domain names you're looking for, uh, in general, domain discussion and monetization. All that happens over there on the Discord server, so you can scan that and join us there. But let's get this party started over here on Dropcatch. So this is Dropcatch, dropcatch.com. You can see it up in the URL. This is one of the services that you can get expiring domain names. They actually have this really cool system where basically when a domain name is dropped, that means it is expired and there's not an auction house already set up like a GoDaddy that does an auction house. Uh, they, will, they have servers that go and try to register that domain name once it becomes available again. And sometimes they get that domain name and when they do, it goes up here at auction on Dropcatch, which you will see, actually, uh, we're in the final seconds here of topschools.com. Topschools.com, 47 seconds left. So if you love that domain name, you're gonna be behind. Ultimately, in 40 seconds, it's gonna be ending, unless somebody does a last second bid. $7,850 is the current bid on that one. Topschools.com, great domain name. Uh, if it gets a if it gets another bid, I will go check it out. Uh, other yes, there we go. So as you can see, we just saw a demonstration live of a last second bid adds five minutes to the auction. That's part of why you never want to bid at the last second, because all that has happened now is they waited to the last second for whatever reason that is, some kind of like old eBay thing where you wanted to wait to the last second. Now that they did it. We're literally live with other investors seeing this domain name auction unfold, and that is not good for uh, whoever it was that didn't just let the thing expire. So let's go check out top schools. One of the ways that we do that, the beauty of domain to profit, and what we do here on this show is we don't just look at domain names from a perspective of, oh, I like that one, I don't like that one, whatever. We look at the data behind domain names and show you how to do it as well. 
the nice thing about that is you can evaluate whether a domain name is worth an amount all within a few minutes, which is great because this domain's auction is going to end in just a few minutes. Top, if I can spell, schools, again, if I can spell. So we are looking at .com domain names. That's all we look at here on the show. And one of the reasons we do that is because a .com being the best extension, the best domain, top level domain at the end, .com, because it's the top one, we don't even have to worry about it. We just assume that that keyword is best housed on a .com domain. And in this case, we just drop the .com, we look at the keywords of the drop catch, top schools, put them in to SpyFu. This is SpyFu. You can use it for free. You just don't get all the data, but you get enough, or you can do a paid account, which is what we use here on the show. And what you will see here, top schools, 570 searches over there uh, for the actual term, our term, top schools. And now what I want to do, I'm going to highlight it, do a control F. That is going to highlight all the places that top schools appear. And you'll see really not much happening. Uh, so you'll see most of these are top business school, uh, top law schools. So they have other stuff in there, but top schools is pretty big. And you'll see uh, 570 for the exact amount that we have here. But then all these other keywords in the middle are similar keywords that they kind of have our domain name in it, top business school, top law schools. So you can target these keywords, which give you this opportunity at thousands more. Now the question is, is monetization. How can you make money off this domain name if we're looking at uh, the you know, $8,600 already? We gotta come up with $8,600 in value. And if you look here, uh, there is a cost per click over $2. I wanna see it $2 or higher. We wanna see advertisers at 10 or more, but right now nobody's really targeting top schools as a keyword, otherwise there'd be advertisers. So there's money there, just not a whole lot. I do like seeing this one here though. Uh, let me scroll down. Uh, private schools near me. So maybe top private schools, top schools. So there's some options there. And as you get into money, if private schools charge, which they do, colleges charge, community colleges, all these different schools charge. Therefore, you can count on there being some money. Question is, is can you get up to uh, $8,600 or more, or currently the $83,000 or $8,300 for that? I don't know. So we'll see. Uh, we'll keep an eye on that one. We'll move on to tasted.com, another one that I saw over here on Dropcatch. Uh, we don't usually look at Dropcatch very often, but when you got some pretty good domains over here, worth checking out. Uh, you'll see here dropped. This column is saying that these are dropped domain names. They do other kinds of auctions as well. Dropped means it expired, dropped, and they caught it, and then are now putting it up for auction. Uh, Tasted.com, that's a pretty good domain name. I was looking at the keyword data of it, uh, and it looks more like a brandable than anything else. I'll toss into the keyword. So 1,400 is the searches over there. So people type Tasted into the, domain, or into the search engines 1,400 times a month. So what would you do with 1,400 possible viewers of your website, Tasted.com? Uh, would you display them uh, wine tastings, food tastings, maybe some kind of, uh, <laughs> you go to Costco and they always have the taste tests, the little forks. Uh, maybe you do something, uh, put that experience on the online or something. I don't know. Uh, but down here under the monetization down here, this data is pulled from Google based on their ads. Nobody's paying, nobody's advertising, and without that money, without that money, without those people paying to target this, the best case scenario is more of a blank real estate type development. What would you put on it? I have no idea. Tasted, has something to do with tasting, uh, past tense. Not a huge fan of the domain name, but we see over on Dropcatch, it is $3,533 currently. Uh, this one ends tomorrow. And just a quick look down through the next few. And on that note, 
We'll wrap up drop catches, and you'll see top schools did end. $8,350 is the top bid for topschools.com. Congratulations to whoever got that one. I think that's probably a, right, a pretty good price for that. So on that note, we will hop over to GoDaddy Domains. GoDaddy Domains, nice seeing everybody pop in. Uh, make sure you let everybody else know that you're here as well. Uh, so for the GoDaddy Domains, we use primarily this tool here, which is expireddomains.net. The filters that we use are right here. You can go to that URL and I will switch over briefly uh, to the Hala filter. Now you can scan that QR code up there and it will take you to a video that shows you the filters we set up for this show. Uh, and then once you're set up, we typically order by valuation. But as promised, we are going to start first by looking at this here, this 90, $191,000 domain name. That's the current bid. GoDaddy's valuing it at over $25,000. I would guess so if it's already up over $191,000. You'll see we have some other bids because I have it ordered. I have the whole list ordered by the price currently. So what's that domain name? Let's pop over to the domain. It's airplay.com, airplay.com. How is that coming up with $191,000 bid so far? I have no idea. Well, you can probably guess. Airplay, Airplay, it's an Apple thing, right? They have AirPods, Air everything. In fact, if you go out to do a search and you search for Airplay, you'll see it is indeed an Apple uh, product. I'm not an Apple person, so I'm clueless. Uh, but AirPlay, it lets you share videos, photos, music, and more from your Apple device. If you want to mess with an Apple trademark, which for the love of goodness, I don't know why you would want to do that to yourself, you are going to create heartache and pain and suffering for yourself. There you go. You can bid over $191,000 for AirPlay. Um, I don't know what else you would use it for. Basically, do not touch airplay.com. That would be a bad play. <laughs> a bad play to mess with airplay.com. But that is currently going for $191,000. If it's Google or um, if it is uh, Apple going for it, all good. But if it's somebody else, if it's you by chance, I don't. we don't talk about it much, but like trademarks are a big thing in domain names. Do not mess with trademarks. Go do a search. Make sure there's not one on it already. In this case, you're dealing with one of the largest companies out there. A word, a phrase, a product name that they've been using for a long time. Uh, that's a really dicey situation to be doing that. Certainly not for a novice. It's not even for me as somebody who, as I revealed last week, has spent over $1.4 million on domain names. That domain name's of no interest to me whatsoever. Again, going to create headaches. Some of these other domain names right here on top, uh, Tutti, Tutti Fruity. Oh, okay. Wallet Plus is the next highest bid generating domain name. Uh, and then New Daily. And then as you get into some of these lower domains here, these are all expiring, all expiring from GoDaddy uh, over the course of the next week. Uh, you'll see some of these aren't even really great domains, right? Uh, Go Turkey Tourism, uh, Altraid, altraid.com. Those domain names probably had websites up on them previously. Somebody was using them. They let them expire. And now somebody's trying to grab them for search engine purposes or some other uh, purpose, possibly not even good ones. Uh, but that's what's happening when you see some of the bad domain names uh, doing pretty well in as far as bid valuation. Now, let's get on with the normal segment of the show, which is let's look for some expiring domain names, hopefully in a more reasonable price range, something that we would be interested in. To do that, we're going to start by ordering by this column that's currently behind my head, valuation. So if you've had the filter set up, you've scanned that QR code that's over there, uh, or visited this URL here, you know the filters we have set up. And then when you're in, you wanna click on valuation. 
Disclaimer, as I give every week, valuation is not the value of the domain name. It is a value just kind of calculated real quick based on GoDaddy, based on past data. Uh, it does not represent the value. You will go broke if you use it for that, but it is really handy for ordering the domain names to bring some of the best domain names up to the top, which as you can see here, it has brought airplay.com up to the top. It believes it has the best value, which, okay, 2D as well. Greeter.com, that's where we could start, although I see it is an enum domain. Um, sorry for moving the screen all over the place. Uh, because Greeter.com is an enum domain name, I'm gonna skip over it. It does look like it ends four days from now. So most likely that domain name is not going to end enom domain names outside of two days left usually do not end the auction. If you're interested in greeter.com, you can add it to your watch list by clicking it and so on. Okay, let me see here. So in that case, let's move on down to, how about organicfarmer.com. So now we're to the primary segment where we will look at domain names, we will pull them up, analyze them, talk about possible development and ways to make money from that domain name, and then we move on to the next one. Over, repeat, repeat, repeat until four o'clock. Uh, organicfarmer.com ends in one week, so next time, uh, just before the show, it's going to end already a thousand and twenty-five dollars over there. We're gonna go over to SpyFu, we drop the dot com, and just look at the keyword. See what I did there? Boom, got rid of the .com, organic farmer. I copy and paste typically to avoid possible fake characters or international characters. Uh, sometimes they hide in there. So uh, just something to kind of keep in mind, copy and paste is typically better. Uh, there are some funky ways to mess up domains here. Organic farmer. Now we're gonna do our control F, so we highlight it and hit control F. We do this because not only do we care about that there's 180 exact match searches for organic farmer, we want to see other ways that our keyword, if we were to buy this domain name, we are pulling in and saying we own organic farmer. Like that's our keyword. We're going to own that. We're going to build a website. We're going to build some kind of business on it. So we want to see other ways that our keyword is being used exactly. So that's why we highlight it. Control F highlights all the other places that it is being used. And as we pull it up here, you can kind of see these. Uh, there's a little bit of a hidden one here. Organic farmers with an S market near me. So organic farmers market near me. Uh, that's 2,200 2, searches. Now the key thing is that S does matter. It's gonna be a little more difficult to target that, but that's not bad, right? Organic farmer, you can certainly target it. Uh, if you were to call organic farmers up and be like, hey, I own, own organicfarmer.com. I'd love to list your farmer's market on the site for 100 bucks a year or something like that. You may be interested in that, right? How about uh, down a little bit more? Uh, we got uh, organic farmer's market near me. Basically variations on it, River Ford, Farmers, Almond, it's, you see some various ones, a few hundred. Now the question is money, monetization. Can we make money from this domain name? It's a good domain name. I mean, people are searching for it. There's other keywords here. Can we make money from it? If we put something on organicfarmer.com that has something to do with organic farming, then we'll, can we make money? One of the ways we look and determine that is by looking at this data here. We look at this with the drop catch domains, but cost per click, again, we want that $2 or more. That is my preference. I like to see it at $2 or more. Uh, services are typically $2 or more. Products a lot of times are less, but you can see $2 or more, that's good. The only thing is this number here, the zero, there's zero people advertising. There's zero people paying that. That means it's probably seasonal, which that makes sense. Farming, seasonal. Uh, but it's hard to price a domain name and determine the value 
based on a seasonal domain name or in this case, zero advertisers as of this moment, uh, that's tough. That's tough to come up with it. Uh, in that case, you're gonna kinda have to fall for your experience. Uh, in my case, I know a lot about pricing domain names. I would have trouble going up higher than 1,025. However, I will tell you, I've seen food-related domain names, organic food-related, fresh food-related domain names go for 20,000 somewhat frequently. Will this be one of them? I kind of doubt it. I wouldn't be surprised if it doesn't go for a few thousand, but not from Drew, because I'm not interested in organicfarmer.com. Uh, let me check in with chat here. Uh, Matt is saying, hello, hello. Yes, uh, Stuart, nice to have you. Uh, and yes, Mohammed, nice to see you. And I think, love all the tweets and uh, stuff as well. Thanks for being involved over there. Uh, and then, uh, and thanks for joining us here as well on Domain to Profit. Always appreciate it. And uh, let's see here. Jeffrey saying, made it snow or no snow? I did my best to show. Uh, poet, and he probably knows it. You know that. You know you're a poet. No snow here. That's nice. Um, and I always do appreciate the like there, Jeffrey. Mike C., nice to have you in as well. Always nice to see you, whether it's first or uh, later on. So uh, let's see here. Uh, Mara Deers is a good name from Meta Domain. I... I don't even know what the domain name is, but I'm going to disagree mostly just because I have no idea what that is. And if you don't know what it is, then most likely it's not a good domain. You may be talking about a different language or something. Uh, and in my case, uh, English primarily, and it doesn't really make sense to me. So uh, going to move on and head back to expireddomains.net. Uh, I am also going to remove the filter QR code. I know it gets in the way of some of that uh, some of the spy food data. So hand surgeon, anybody, anybody passionate about hand surgery? Uh, I know with uh, lots of what uh, carpal tunnel, it's probably hand surgery, right? Uh, I'm not I'm gonna skip over that one. I avoid doctor ones a little bit. Experience says they're just, you can buy them, you can put something up on it, but there are all kinds of additional laws because it's medical related, like HIPAA and like the ratings and reviews that like testimonials and all like it's just a nightmare i don't want to deal with it so hand surgeon uh something you may be interested in i'm going to skip social agency social agency maybe that's referring you could make it up make it all whatever you want how about uh socialagency.com uh, you can do that social media marketing agency that's a thing maybe that's an abbreviated version of it uh, five days left, $1,500 currently. Let's go check it out and spy foo. I need like some, like the Jeopardy music when they put up a new category. Okay. Uh, social agency, drop the dot com, pasting it into spy foo. Uh, 480 exact searches. And then let's go see about the money. Uh, $7.95, advertisers are one. So we have a high amount. Advertisers are very low, though. Let's go check out these middle similar keyword searches. Control F, not much happening. In fact, nothing's happening. So we just did the Control F. We want to see this highlight, ideally. In this case, we do not, but we can still you look at these middle keywords and kind of get an idea of what can we target with the keyword social agency, with the domain name social agency. Um, social service agencies near me, uh, I don't want to deal with that. That would not, I would never buy a domain name to deal with government stuff. That sounds horrible. Uh, however, social media marketing agency, that's what I was talking about. How would you like to have the domain name socialmediamarketingagency.com? Ugh, nobody wants that. It's going to take you an entire year to type it in. But social, social uh, agency, that's pretty good. Social agency. Uh, social agency uh, could work for that one. Social work agencies, again, government stuff. Social media agency, again, we're, we're seeing that pattern. 
social media marketing, that's what I was thinking. Uh, that's what I was in San Diego a couple weeks for, was social media marketing agency type stuff. Um, so some pretty good domain names here. That it would be the angle I would do it, uh, and especially since we see, maybe we do not see. Okay, I like this bottom one here. So this social media agency, social media agency near me, uh, 900 searches. That means that we can build a search engine that shows all the social media marketing companies uh, within a 100 mile radius of where you are. Localization is one of my favorite monetization strategies for a domain name because all you're doing is taking this great domain name, social agency, and then you are sharing it with companies and small businesses that would love to own it. The question is, is if you went out to the different social media agencies around there, called them up and said, hey, I'm socialagency.com. Uh, I'd love to feature your company on the site in your area. Is that of interest to you? Hopefully, every dozen calls or so, you're hearing some really good conversations. And ideally, yes, I'm willing to pay to do that. That's what you're looking to have. Uh, so, $7.95, one advertiser. The question is, is who, I'm guessing you're, you're at the, the mercy of Google to determine whether somebody's searching for social agency, Google's determining the intent. Are they looking for marketing or are they looking for social services? I don't, I don't really like that coin flip of it. Uh, for that reason, uh, what I would look at, say, 400 exact matches, a few thousand others. I would price this one typically probably... Uh, especially if I had advertisers, I'd be probably $2,000 or more since there's only one advertiser. Uh, rough math in my head, I'm going to probably max out. I will not go above 900, I do not believe. Uh, man, just with a couple other advertisers, I'd probably take it up to 1600 But if I'm not mistaken, we're already up around that amount anyway. So. 1580 ends in five days. Maybe you're in that industry. Maybe you're interested. Go bust out with it if so. We'll keep on moving, moving on down. Peachland Taxi, thank you for coming. Always nice to have you as well. Listening away in the car. Hopefully, uh, hopefully the mic and sound works pretty well this week. Seems like we have it uh, going pretty well lately. Trust rank, so that could be a, uh, a brand. In fact, let me do something. I haven't done this in a while. I believe it is this one here. Yes. So I used to show this quite often. I'll just show it one more time. It's been a while. That over there is a domain name. That gray box is a domain name. It is the real estate that a domain makes. On top of it, you can build whatever enterprise you want to build out. Whether that is uh, some giant brand, that's what the building on top of the domain name is, or you can sell it. A lot of people buy domains for cheap and then look to sell them for more. That's pretty common. You can do those things with any domain name. You can build on it or you can buy and sell it. Will it work? I don't know, it's hard to say. The domain names that we look for here on Domain to Profit are specifically the domain names that have something underneath them. They have substance to them. That substance comes in the form of authority, validation, and access to an industry. So as we look to this domain name, social agency, if you remember, I said, if you were to call up a social media marketing agency and say, hey, I own socialagency.com, would you be interested in featuring that is that access to the industry piece. Does it give you access? Does it validate you as the person that's calling? And we all get telemarketers. It's super annoying. But if they say, if they just poke right at the right thing, you're going to let them pass your guard. And you'll think that they're, well, they have more authority than maybe what they do. The underneath pieces of that over there, that domain name, the underground, you are tapping into, you are drilling down into the oil reserves that are part of owning that domain name. Every domain name can be built on. 
get asked all the time about alternative extensions and things like that. You could build on anything, but only those best.com domain names have that authority validation and access to an industry. Other domain extensions, they may sound good, they may even mean something to people, uh, but .com will always be what people want to move to, therefore, you got to watch out a little bit. And then, as I mentioned, uh, the tap on the bottom, we're just tapping it. We're looking for domain names we can tap and just drip out revenue over time. It's what we do with towing.com and our business model. Uh, social agency would do pretty well with that. But domains like uh, social or trust rank, the reason why I went through all that and explained the pieces of a great domain name, especially a domain name that we're using to profit, is because a domain name like TrustRank, it sounds pretty good, right? You're ranking trust, you're ranking uh, businesses, can you trust them or not? It, it tells you a little bit about what to expect from it, but it doesn't really have like authority or uh, access to an industry. It's just kind of a general statement, so it falls more of a brandable type domain. What do I mean by that? How can we test whether our domain name is brandable? Let's go ahead and use TrustRank as an example. So TrustRank.com ends in a week and currently $200. We're going to copy that domain name and paste it into SpyFu just like we do all domains. But what you will find with TrustRank is there is likely almost no searches for it. Eh, more than what I expected. So you'll see over here, 90 monthly searches for trust rank, which I find a little bit on the shocking side. I expected pretty much less than 15. Uh, no money down here. So what is going to be on trust rank? We don't know. Actually, look at this. Uh, if you can see that behind me, um, trust rank checker. So maybe trust rank had been something in the past, uh, but is no longer. Uh, here you go. Like. Uh, so maybe, I don't, Genshin? So maybe this was a, an international website already. Uh, how to increase trust rank. Not sure what that is. Probably want to do some more searching around for it. How to raise trust rank. So I'm guessing uh, Genshin is some kind of product or something by somebody. And somebody, it's, so basically trust rank is part of somebody's brand already. Maybe, maybe not. Uh, point being, what is it supposed to be on it? We don't know. It is a brandable domain name. And because of that, this domain name is going to be defined by what you build on it, not necessarily uh, by what's underneath it, that the authority, the validation, and the access to an industry. What industry? Do we even know what industry it would be for? No. So uh, trust rank is a skip, as are many of the other domain names I skip. It is because the domain names are more of a brandable domain. Airplay, the one that's going for 191,000, that is a brandable domain. But GoDad, or I'm sorry, Apple already has taken Airplay and turned it into a brand. That is why it's going for so much. They have taken the phrase Airplay and are making it something. That is why the domain name is going for so much, and that's why it's dangerous to bid on that domain name because you're taking something that Apple has already made valuable and trying to profit from it. Not a good thing to do. Uh, trust rank may be the same kind of thing. Who knows? Air Gym, who knows? But if the domain name does not create, if you were to picture your domain name as a blank canvas, it should be color by number. You should know what the picture is going to be. You should know what the image is of. And all you're doing is the person buying the domain name to either sell it or to develop it. You, all you need to do is just color in the, you're coloring it in. Okay, uh, number three is for red. Now I'm going into all the number threes and coloring in red. And next thing you know, you taking action turned into a website about exactly what it was supposed to be about. Make sense? Uh, so when you see a good domain name, it should be color by number. It should be a canvas with something already on it. You're just filling in the dots. Social agency, eh, kinda, kinda, but it could be a coin flip between social services or social marketing. So that's a little tough to have that coin flip. We don't want to. We don't want to necessarily have that. 
Okay, let's see here. Going to move on. I see some discussion about the uh, trust rank as well. Uh, some research happening about what that is and why that's going for that. Help me now. Kind of a fun sounding uh, domain. I would much rather help me. Help now even. Help me now. I'm not a huge fan of. Uh, I will just point out on this one here, uh, do mainland domain land is another way of looking at that but that is an enom domain name you'll see that behind my head there uh, enom so we're going to skip over it uh, again i also warn we're looking at domain names so because we're looking at domain names the word domain pops out at us a little bit uh, and you may think it's more valuable than what it is but ultimately there's very few of us looking at domains uh, so you want to make sure that you're not familiarity with something makes it more attractive. Okay, it's just one of our, our broken parts of our human brain. So, uh, but another thing I'll point out with that is uh, expireddomains.net, they will improperly case some domain names. So you have to kind of look at it. Don't just let their proper case or their camel case. It's not domain land, it's Domain land is probably how I would consider that domain name. Allpauls.com, I kind of like that one. That, that's more of a brandable, though. Home Cinemas, Enom, but not a bad one. Doctor Call, eh. Let's see here. Liquefied, I don't know if that's how you spell it. An Enom domain, again, skip over Enom domains. You can add them to your watch list, and if they end, then go for it, but... They often do not, which we seem to have a lot of e-name, e-noms. Beer Bank. <laughs> kind of like that one for some reason. Beerbank.com, just for the fun of it. Real Trip. Stream Audio. I probably need uh, streamaudio.com. need somebody from there to help me out with my stream and <laughs> get my audio set up correctly sometimes. Uh, which that is, I mean, and, and also you can see right behind my head here, uh, this has been developed before. That's part of what that number means. It means there are links to that domain name. In fact, if we click on it, I wouldn't be surprised if the price is not rather high. Okay, three days left on it. Stream audio, $280. Let's go check it out in SpyFu. My gut says it's not really of interest to me, but... Uh, you know, maybe it's of interest to you and or maybe it will be of interest to me after I see the data. Trust your gut, but also verify your gut. Your instinct is important. The only thing is your instinct will uh, be wrong somewhat frequently. Even mine. I've been at this $1.4 million in domains, 20 years under my belt of just like making horrible mistakes and getting better and better uh, at making less mistakes, but I still make mistakes, I, even typos. Like that's part of why I copy and paste also is I wanna avoid typos. So stream audio, 360 searches, uh, which is more than what I expected. Uh, how to stream audio on Discord, Discord audio streaming. Looks like most people are looking for Discord here in the middle. Uh, and then let's go look at money. Wow, the cost per click, $9.70. No advertisers, though. I'm not sure how that quite works. Uh, the last person, I guess, really wanted to pay a lot for it. So let me just say, one of the questions I get pretty often is, how do, or what do you put on a domain name? So I don't, I don't know anything about stream audio. I barely get this to work, right? <laughs> so I'm not the guy that's going to develop out stream audio, but maybe you buy it and you want to develop it and you don't know what to put on the domain name. That is what this third column here helps you with, is answering these and or setting up a website that allows others to get the answers to these uh, can be helpful. This is your content for your website. This, this is also uh, categories or structure for your website. And then of course, the number of searches for your exact keyword kind of give you that idea of the exact market that you can really hit. That's your precision piece. And then why we look at the money piece is we want to see there's money. Unless you're doing this for the fun of it and you just want to 
have some cool niche blog or something, uh, the money matters, and these right here makes me not want to mess with this domain name. But 280 bucks, if you can get it for less than 700 bucks, might be a good domain. Okay, and uh, let me pull up uh, the question here. Can't we filter out enum domains from the search? Yes, you can. We do not filter them by default. Uh, and let me see if I want to do that right now. I'm going to go ahead and show you real quick on the filters um, down at Dirty Boots. So in the filters, if we were to go to uh, this box here, the registrar, uh, you can say contains not enom. So you can type enom here, and it would get rid of them. Uh, I don't know why I leave them in there. If they're within two days, that enom domain is worth checking out. Probably for the sake of this show, I probably need to get rid of it, but yeah. So, but the answer is yes, you can filter out by registrar. Uh, I just don't do it. That's just my preference for the sake of the show. I probably need to start. We'll see. If it annoys, like days like today when some of the best domain names are enom, uh, in that case, uh, I probably should have filtered them out. So if it's a big hassle, let me know. I'll, I'll start to add that filter into things. Key advisors, again, the enom domain. <laughs> so uh, call assistant, call assistant. Uh, one of the things you can do with a domain name, say you're looking for a hand reg domain. So you're looking to just something you can go to GoDaddy and hand register. What you type in, a lot of people will take a word, oh, of course assistant's gone. So assistant's no longer available. Some of the words I really like to add to a domain name if I can't get the main domain, uh, like calls, good, call assistant, uh, click assistant, um, eh, maybe not. I, I like click, call, get, my, those are all good domains uh, or ways to add on to a domain name to give something that may be a value. Uh, it's not always a value. There is no keyword structure that guarantees you success. Uh, but that's one of the things. So call assistant fits that pattern of, I like call assistant a little bit, but going to skip over it and not really dive into it. Uh, we haven't talked about marketing domains this week. Take advantage. So that is what I consider a marketing domain. So a marketing domain name is a domain name that uses a phrase that you hear in marketing pretty often. Uh, have you ever heard anybody say, hey, take advantage of these great offers. Take advantage of uh, never before seen information. Take advantage of, you, you see how that, so when people use certain phrases in marketing often, that adds value to a domain name. Remember we talked about earlier, when you, like the reason why domain pops out in a list often when you're looking at domains is because the word is familiar to you and we find things that are familiar to us more attractive. More attractive means there might be some value there because it is more attractive. So the key is it shouldn't be just attractive to you. It needs to be attractive to many people. That creates the market. That increases the value of that domain name. Take advantage, I've heard that. Now the only thing is it does have some negative connotation as well. Uh, you can get taken advantage of, take advantage. So you got to maybe a little bit. Two days left on it, take advantage, $188. So somebody else has already spotted that this domain name has some value. Uh, let's check it out with the SpyFu tool. Got rid of the .com, and there you go. 1,400 searches, uh, so exact match. Uh, and this is pretty common for marketing domains. Uh, there's no money happening here. So 19 cents per click, no advertisers. The play or the way to use this domain name is to uh, take it and uh, find or run a marketing campaign that uses Take Advantage. Or you can do this here. Let's do a Control F on Take Advantage. Uh, 
sometimes it doesn't work for me. Okay, so look at that. Boom, control F. We're highlighting all the places that take advantage appears on the screen. Take advantage, see, look at this. Take advantage, synonym. Uh, take advantage of 3,700 searches. Take advantage of synonym, uh, define, take advantage of. Uh, so this appears that uh, English is a second language. It happens often with marketing domains. Uh, they're not sure what take advantage of really, like what does that mean? Marketing lingo is always a little funky. It's always one of the harder things to, to get if English is not primary. Uh, so you, this is probably a lot of people asking like, what is this? They're probably trying to determine whether take advantage is negative intent or positive intent. So as these marketers are like, take advantage of this, they're like, oh, is that a negative thing or a positive thing? So they're looking here uh, for that. That's what you see in some of these keyword searches, I believe. Again, how will you make money from it? I don't know. The only thing is, is it is attractive to people to own a domain name similar to that. Uh, just thought I'd mention it and dive into a marketing domain name. Um, community planning, let me just make sure that one's not two days, okay. So let me just show you if it does appear, it's really small print, but community planning is, uh, because it's four days out, I don't talk about the enom domains, but community planning is definitely worth adding to my watch list. Uh, this is, up. Oh, this is exactly it. This is why I don't ever click on enom domains. We're sorry, but the domain name you're looking for is no longer available through auction. It's, this is just what happens to enom domains. Big waste of time. But when you find one that you love, go ahead and add it to your watch list. Uh, don't miss out on it because I have won enom domains before. It's just you do end up wasting a lot of time on them. AutoGuardian.com. AutoGuardian.com. Let's see here. I like it, sounds like a brandable, like maybe car covers or some kind of uh, protection for a vehicle, but it's probably more of a brandable than actual. Yeah, that's what I figured. So Auto Guardian, 125 searches and okay, so you can kind of see maybe what I was talking about. I'm guessing it's more of a protection type uh, a protection type domain name. So Guardian Auto Glass, like put something on your glass. American Auto Guardian Cancellation. You know, maybe Auto Guardian, uh, maybe they're trying to reach you about your, uh, your car warranty. <laughs> that might be the company, who knows. Uh, so Auto Guardian looks like there's some, uh, yeah, it looks like there's maybe been some insurance companies running under that brand. Not really high volume, so probably not worth looking really much at. No money happening here. So this is a brandable. This would be something with that gray box. It is the real estate is autoguardian.com. You can build something on top of it. But as far as the, like the resources buried underneath, is there oil? Is there gold down there? You go and dig. You're really not finding much. Uh, that is autoguardian. Uh, what's happening with that, more of a brandable domain name. You get to define it. You get to determine what's on it if you decide to develop it, but it's not color by number, it's not a canvas. Okay, let's see here. Coffee Boss, I think I have that on my watch list already. Uh, again, a brandable. Nope, not on my watch list. In fact, it's ending at seven. Oh my dear goodness. Let me sign in here. Uh, so uh, it, it's not on my watch list. Uh, $1,136 is what Coffee Boss is going for. Probably a brandable. So I'm going to skip over that one. But there you go if you want to dive into Coffee Boss. Hey, here's your Coffee Boss. Here's your Coffee Boss. Love Beats. These are fun. These are fun domains. But fun at $50, not fun at $1,000 domains. Swap up. Let me go check that one out. I like that one a little bit. Not working for me. I'm not sure what that was in refer referring to. Uh, not working for me. Hopefully, hopefully a specific tool or something. 
Let's go check out Swap Up. Seven days left on this one, $465 or $456 going over to Spy Fu. Let's go check out this. I think this is a thing. I think Swap Up is a, a like swap meets and things like that. You swap up if you're trying to get something better for something. Okay, I might be full of it here. Um, Disney face swap up. Oh, swap up. There's face hole. Uh, swap things so really not much happening with this no real keyword data 135 searches exactly for it uh, no money happening I do like the idea of like a swap meet or something online to where like hey I have this I'm willing to swap it up for something else you know so I add it to my watch list. I'll probably be bidding on it, but uh, it's going to be 100% based on what I think it's worth. I'll probably go for 688, 700, maybe up to 800 dollars on it. Or I'll wake up when the auction goes to end and go, not interested in it. That happens all the time too. Freelancetalent.com. Freelancetalent.com. Skipping over Creative Academy, Creator Academy. Uh, that one's going for a pretty good amount, and it's probably already past the budget of most. Oh, yeah, and Matt is mentioning in the chat, if you need to send or want to send a link, it will not let you send a URL or a link. You have to uh, space it out and get creative. Buying NFT, gap marketing, best vacation deals. It's a little wordy. Two words, boom, you go with it. I love two-word domain names. Add on a third word, and suddenly things go haywire. What do I mean by that? For example, small business online, right over there. I, I don't mind the domain name. Small business online, it's three words online. What's that even mean? I don't know. Uh, I'm going to click on it. Small business online, not a huge fan of it. Going to add it to my watch list, though. Uh, let's go check to see if small business online, we'll make this our last domain name. Any questions that you have that you want me to kind of answer as we wrap up the show, feel free to toss it. Just one of the benefits of watching live. Uh, we can dive into anything you want to. Small business online, 220 searches for it. Uh, looks like... I'm going to do the control F and okay, small business online marketing, 1300 searches, not bad. Vanguard, small business online, there's, there's some different things uh, out there. What do you put on small business online? That's what this last column over here is, how to start a small business online, how to sell a small business online, how to make a small business online, are these questions here, a few hundred searches. Uh, I do like this though, and this is probably this is why I watch out of my watch list. Nine dollars per click for the keyword small business online, and seven advertisers that are paying it. So now I get to go and tell you a little bit about why this matters. If you were one of these seven companies, and uh, you know you're really trying to target small businesses online, you have something to offer them, whether it's marketing, web design services, something along those lines. These seven businesses here, which there are probably hundreds of other businesses that would be interested in it, but there's seven of them paying several dollars, dollars per click. If you're wondering if you can make business from a domain name or make money from a domain name, can you take a domain name and turn it into a profit? This here is the biggest indicator of kind of like how quickly can you do it? How profitable can you do it? Because already there are seven companies paying $9 to reach the keyword small business online. You own, if you buy this domain name, you own smallbusinessonline.com. If you call these seven companies that are already paying numerous dollars per click to target the word small business online, and you say, hey, this is Drew, I'm with smallbusinessonline.com, and I would love to feature your company as one of the companies that can help get a small business online, or whatever it is, whatever the paint by number canvas says to you, 
Do you think that one of these seven companies, or all seven of these companies that are currently paying $9 per click, would be willing to say, pay you $90 a year, $100 a year, $100 a month possibly? The answer is yes, it is very possible. So now you have a domain name that gives you access to industry. The industry is whatever these people are reaching this keyword for. Who knows why they're doing it, whether it's web design or marketing services. You reach out to those companies, you say, if I develop this to feature a dozen companies that offer small business online services or whatever it is, would you pay me $100 a month or what, whatever it is? Create an offer, create a vision for a website, ask these companies, and sometimes even before you buy the domain name, you can find out if it is feasible to get customers to pay you for it. So uh, just kind of that's how that box works when you see good numbers in it. You have your seven first customers. Uh, one of the things I do not see here that I want to see is localization. That makes it a little bit more difficult. Is It's not people looking for uh, small businesses online near me or something like that. I love localization because it opens it up to the entire world and local areas. So just so you know. Okay. Um, okay, so we'll end on small business online. Uh, added it to my watch list, 155 bucks. What is it worth? This, let me spend a little more time on small business online. 220 searches, and then we have $9 per click, seven companies paying it. Typically, my formula is essentially, as long as the advertisers are at or around 10, and then we have cost per click at $2 or more, I would take the cost per click, divide it by two, $2, and then multiply it by the estimated, I'm sorry, the uh, monthly cost, or the monthly volume. So take, if the quantity of advertisers is 10 or more, take it, the cost per click, divide it by $2. In this case, we're looking at about uh, $4 or so. $4 times $220. This domain, in theory, is like a $1,000 domain name based on that formula. You can use this domain name to make $1,000 based on that. Here's the thing, though. That tends to max out at two words. Two words, $1,000 domain name. When you add on a third word, it weighs that down some. Like, I don't, I don't pay that for three-word domain names very often. And in this case, that third word is at least going to cut it in a third, if not make it a third of a thousand dollar value. Uh, so for me personally, I'm more in the 300 to 600 dollar range versus a thousand plus. If that helps you. That's not, that is not a rule. That is not an algorithm. That is not something you're going to plug into a computer and say, analyze all these domain names and buy the ones that meet Drew's requirements. I don't, I don't work that way. I, I, there's flexibility there, but those are some of the guidelines that help me uh, quickly evaluate domain names. So hopefully you can uh, use that as a framework and then develop based on your budget, because much of that is based on my budget. Uh, use your budget, use your interests in the industries that you're interested in to go after and know the value of a domain name in that way. So hopefully that is a helpful, uh, helpful rant. Um, let's pop over to a chat. I want to check out, um, let me see here, Jeffrey put up this comment. Uh, Future Show, can you do an example of how you determine your max bid price when you're considering a domain name? I may have just done that a little bit for you. Uh, especially when I see $10 or, or 10 or more advertisers, $2 or more, uh, I'm doing a calculation based on exact match. And then uh, if it is something I'm interested in, especially those middle sections of SpyFu, pull it up. So these middle sections, uh, if I'm doing a control F and this all highlights, I'm considering those in this keyword volume as well. Ultimately, my max value or max price on a domain name comes down to 
Do I like the industry? Small business online, I love small business. I am a small business advocate. It's online, I don't really like the word online all that much. Uh, so that, that word kills this domain name for me. Uh, but I look at that in the industry, am I interested in it? Then I will pay top dollar for it. Uh, if it's something boring and stale and not of interest to me, uh, then I will go on the bottom range of what I'm interested in. So uh, that's why bartenders.com, a $50,000 domain name when others are like, eh, it's a $20,000 domain name. Not to me. I want that domain name. It sounds like fun. It sounds like happy people, unless you're a drunk, angry uncle. <laughs> okay. So there you go. Hopefully that's some helpful information. I do see that uh, you commented below, so that's awesome. Examples, pricing keyword domains. Uh, again, I think I hit that a little bit for you. Uh, Yasin, I, I'll take a shot at the name. Hopefully I don't butcher too much. Uh, but uh, so yeah, I, I hopefully that example that I just ran through helps you uh, come up with that. The key thing is develop your own dance. Pricing a domain name is a dance. You are dancing to figure out what is it worth. Like it comes down to your budget, first of all. I pay hundreds for domain names that most people would pay max 50 bucks for. If I like it, if it goes with something else I'm doing, then that puts it on the higher end of what I'm interested in. So my budget allows me that flexibility. That's why you have to know what you want before you ever go searching. Okay, that's, that can save you so much money and so much heartache. Do not just buy domain names because it's like, ah, oh, it looks like it's a good value, or ah, oh, it's a lot of keywords or something. Buy it because you are interested in it, you know something about it, and if you don't know something about it, then yeah, you can go watch YouTube videos and learn something about it, but don't just spend money on domain names. You'll end up with a big portfolio full of crap. And I don't do this each week for you to end up with a big portfolio of crap. I want you to get great domain names uh, and buy the right ones for you to develop, make money, create the life you want. That's what I'm, that's what I'm hoping for here. So, all righty. Well, if you have not now, if you've watched all the way to the end or towards the end of the show here, no, you should be subscribing on YouTube. You should also go to DomainToProfit.com, DomainToProfit.com, and there you can sign up for our email list. Why am I telling you this? Well, I've been permeating and working on this idea of doing a video talking about ChatGPT. Uh, it's ChatGPT, enough of the talk, yeah. Well, as you've possibly seen, if you follow me on Twitter, there's big things happening, and I know we're all experiencing tech burnout because every month there's some new technology that's gonna change the world. I will tell you from personal experience, I have already been able to use ChatGPT, one, to find some domain names, but two, to do some really amazing stuff to turn a domain name into something that matters. Uh, so join the waiting list, join that email list, make sure you're subscribed, because I'm looking at possibly doing an impromptu live show looking at some of the ways that ChatGPT can be trained and used to help you in your domain finding and domain developing uh, endeavors. So that is worth joining it because it likely will not happen here on Domain to Profit, uh, but the same audience, you may be interested in it, so make sure you're on that list. That list will get notified. So on that note, I appreciate you all for joining me. Hope you had a good Monday. Hope you make it a great week. I know I plan on making it a great week. Big things happening around here. Stressful, crazy stuff, but nonetheless, it's all happening. I will see you next Monday, if not before, Monday, 3 p.m. Eastern Time, here on Domain to Profit, where we look to expiring domain names and talk about businesses and possible revenue-generating options on those domain names. I will see you next week, 3 p.m., Till then, take care.